Hey everyone, welcome back for another Cookie Run Kingdom episode. So today's episode, we're going to discuss all of the top uh, cookies for PvP, particularly the top 10. So let's get straight to it and discuss, especially those first that are my honorable mentions. Namely, um, the first one would be Almond Cookie. So Almond Cookie is actually here as an honorable mention because of his skill in terms of the damage link debuff which disperses a portion of damage the apprehended enemy receives between up to five link enemies okay cannot be interrupted and handcuffs cannot be applied to summoned foes this is actually good because it spreads out the damage wh wh whoever is on the other side from one cookie so again very good support um cookie I was, I was supposed to say um, hero. Um, he is actually a cookie. So very good support cookie. Um, and he is one in the honorable mention. Then the next one would be... Okay, you have it. You have it right. It's going to be pomegranate cookie. Because um, she's one of the honorable mentions. Because she actually um, gives you healing. While also giving you a percent of... Percent... Percent... <laughs> Percentage attack increase. My god, what's happening to me? So for seven seconds. So again, very good amount of healing. Not that much, but again, gives you an attack buff of 20% of attack for seven seconds. So more or less, very good cookie to have. Especially if you don't have herb cookie or you want to play pomegranate cookie beside herb cookie. Okay, let's go towards our top 10. Let's start first with the with the with the front row cookie. So we only have one front row cookie that is in the top 10, which is Dark Choco Choco Cookie. Okay, so um for his skill, so it's strikes the ground with great sword and um lowers defense. Okay, lowers defense by 20 for 20% of defense for seven seven seconds okay and also has damage dealing for himself okay it's actually very good because again in it right now in pvp more or less um the objective here is kill your enemies quickly with a great amount of damage um defense is actually going to play a big you know a lower the defense sorry is going to play a big part in killing your enemies quickly and he that is why he is here and that is why he is in our top 10 and this is what he brings to the table okay next on our list let's go to the mid so we have a new addition to the family of cookies or the community of cookies which is black raisin cookie again black raisin to sum it up is an ambush cookie which actually deals a small aoe you know small aoe damage but if you compare her with um, with the uh, chili pepper cookie she has more damage than her that is why she is here and that is why she is actually helpful in terms of pvp because she can supplement the she can supplement the damage of whatever damage dealing cookie that you have and she is she works well at, also with either latte or espresso cookie in your team she is very good, very valuable right now, um, and she works well in PvP. Okay, for our next cookie in the top 10, we have here Espresso Cookie. I'm sure all you guys have, you know, have been familiar with him already. So, more or less, he actually gives a lot of damage, dragging them to the center, and a final burst damage, um, which interrupts skills. So again, uh, in terms of crowd control, in terms of cookies attacking you, Espresso Cookie is actually very good in controlling them and lumping them. And again, you can combo his ability with either Latte or um, the other one is Black Raisin Cookie. So very good because again of the interrupt, he cancel out he cancels out skills during the battle, especially for PvP. Okay, now we have Latte Cookie. Latte Cookie is one of my favorites because 
to be honest with you, um, the silence in her skill is very good. So not only does she drags people to the center of the glyph, but again, the silence even for one second and immobilized for five seconds is actually very good because especially if you're, the other team is composed of two, you know, two front cookies which needs to go forward to hit you. This is actually very useful. I also find Lati Cookie very useful in PvE as well. But again, she shines more in your in your PvP scenarios or in your PvP battles. Again, for her silence and for her immobilize. Okay, what we have here now is Licorice Cookie. So Licorice Cookie is actually a favorite in PvP because of the way he summons minions and he actually also deals damage okay and increases the defense of your party um for pvp actually not only in pvp but in any content that he is in that is why he is good he's a great support great um also great in 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 creating minions so that they could attack the enemy and he is really really fun to play with i guarantee you that so again, you could actually combo your licorice with your with your pomegranate in PvP because um, even pomegranate can give an increased attack to his minion. So that is why he is the, uh, he is one of the top cookies in PvP. Okay, one of my favorites actually one one I one one that I've been using for you know when I started is Tiger Lily Cookie because. For because of the stun that she brings when her butter tiger actually leaps towards the enemy so this is actually good this delays the enemy side just at least for three seconds and more or less gives you an edge in terms of pvp and on how to and more or less especially if if you, your spells are already fast and you you know you stun them for at least three seconds this makes you cycle your skills faster as well, making you um, affect more, you know, more more damage to your spells, more more debuffs to your spells, or more buffs for yourselves. So more or less, um, the, the the stun here is actually um, helping you in your cooldowns versus the other side. So very good in PvP, very good ability to have. Especially if you have a lot of spellcasters in your sp in in your team. So basically, that rounds out the mid, and let's go to the back. We'll start with Rai Cookie. So Rai Cookie again, very good. I've I've been I've been raving about Rai Cookie since I had a chance to get her and level her up because of her skill, the final showdown attack speed damage dealt is a hundred uh, no very good damage dealt um is is going to take out your 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 softest enemy with the lowest hp usually your healers or probably somebody else which is squishier um again in one single burst of her skill she can really take out an enemy um just by one use so again um, the best way to build your Rai Cookie is to make sure that once she uses her first skill, it would kill the other enemies on the other side as quick as possible. Also, one of my favorites is Vampire Cookie. So Vampire Cookie is is one of my stars in actually in Guild, but again, um, he is actually very good in terms of PvP because he eliminates more or less. Your healers again at the back he is the great equalizer in terms of taking out healers and you know um dismantling your team from the back so again very good lifesteal um vampirism damage dealt is very good as well and very good again try to make sure that you built him you know a little bit in on the health side so that he could survive and also he is also prone actually to to, to the other you know other ambush cookies or or, or, or the other um, cookies on the other side that that can, that can take him out so please make sure that 
your vampire cookie attacks first and place his spells first. Okay, so I've I've saved the the, the last two um, healers that I have. I'll be featuring the first one, which is one. He's actually one one of the favorites for everyone, I'm sure. So for Herb Cookie, why is Herb Cookie very good? Because healing uh, scales of attack, of course, and heals 19.7 percent. Usually, it it usually goes up depending on what level he is. Every one second for five seconds. Uh, when standing near Sprout. So basically what I'm saying is he is a terrific healer, especially in PvP, because when when he sprouts those sprouts, um most mostly your cookies don't go anywhere. Aside from you know in com when it comes to PvE, they usually run towards the boss at the end. But this one the, his heal is really beneficial because the sprouts will will never leave their feet. And will actually be very beneficial in terms of healing. Also, he has Purify all debuffs, which makes him a very good healer and a very good debuffer and a very good utility for a cookie. And last but not the least, the cookie that I still don't have, which I'm still pissed about. So, um, pure vanilla cookie, I still don't have him. Tremendous heal. Um, doesn't you know doesn't give out attacks but again in terms of heal massive heal um, and also gives you a shield absorb 20% of max HP for three seconds which is actually very good and as long as you you know if you find a way to to level up his attack a very good cookie in terms of heal probably the, the alpha of the healers uh, next would be herb cookie but again if you have your vanilla cookie even if he doesn't have stars yet please use him especially in pvp he is a game changer and a very good and in you know and in, in, in the survivability of your cookies so more or less guys hope this video helps you a lot in creating your teams or team in pvp um again um put down there in the comments below what you think about the top 10 pvp top 10 pvp cookies that i showed you did i leave somebody out should i you know um, swap some cookies around and probably consider some cookies in in the top 10 also guys um thank you for if you have stayed this long thank you for watching um take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here